Hello everyone. In this session, we will learn how to create new T24 user. Sometimes you need to create user for yourself or your new teammate. So we'll see how we can create T24 user. I will cover these two points here. Most of the times whenever you are logging into T24 for first time, so T24 provides some default user ID and password. So for example, we have user ID called input. Is one two three four five six is the password and another user is author and password but at least you should have one active user to get into t24 then you can create user for different role or someone else but sometimes what happen when you are trying to log in into t24 first time so these users also expired for that we have some different technique i don't want to cover those things here you can edit a user table and you can do that in JSL prompt but I am not going to cover those things but in case if you are getting any problem with uh, first time login then you can mail me or message me I will definitely help you so in t24 we have one more application called user once you will go into user so we have option here to browse live record so you can list these live records you can copy paste if you know any ID here. So I'm just going to put one ID. So you can see here inputter. Uh, inputter ID has uh, sign on name input INPU double T. This is one user ID provided by T24. And here you can see company code. These are all the companies those uh, this user can access. And here you can see department code. So this user belongs to the implementation department and password validity here. This is a date and this is like frequency here. You can see it uh, password is valid till 1st August 2022. And every six month on day one, we need to re-enter new password. So this is a profile start date and this is profile end date. These are start time and end time. When user can log in, he can log in from night 12, 1 to 2359. Means he can log in any time. Seems like he can log in for 24 hours. But if you want to put some condition here like office hour 009 morning to 5 evening. So this is how you can configure here. So this is some time out minutes. If a user is not active for a particular time, you can put some minutes here. Then he will log out automatically. And it's the same way attempts here. So user has nine attempts. So you can reduce attempts to one or two. So if you are trying to log in and if you are giving wrong password more than attempt, then your password will be blocked. User ID will be blocked. User has access of all application. So you can customize here. You can give some only some application like account or customize. So as of now, we have given all this for the all application. So these are all functions those user can perform like he can authorize and validate input. Uh, every user is doing something. Rank want to have log what user is doing. So these are some application here. Security management, if these will be marked to Y, whatever user is doing, all those things will be logged somewhere for security reasons. So you can see here uh, when the user was last time login, what time? and when he has changed password date. So all these informations are being captured here. So attribute here super user because it's a super user because we are getting command line on the top. It means uh, this user can do everything. He can input, he can authorize, he can every function, he can access every program. So login status is active as of now. So these are like channel he can access. This classification here is internal user or we may have some external user as well. If we, if some other channel or if some other part is trying to access online through uh, T24, then we can create a user as external. We'll try to create new user. So you have option. You can create user 
from scratch or you can do copy so it's always better to do copy paste if someone wants uh, user id similar to this inputter we can do copy here like this we'll get message deal copy to your t24 clipboard i'm just minimizing this and minimizing this as well and i will create new user here i will give some name for example putter 7 so yes so what i need to do here more action and go to paste so everything will be copied from inputter name could be anything name is like free text here but the sign on name should be different that's why this field is blank here so this is our sign on name so i will put input doubles input seven here and classification i'm just putting internal here language and these are some company code means all this company user can access this is department code so if uh, you think if user is from different department like teller or security then you can change this but i'm just keeping one as of now password validity so when this password will be validated so this will be validated on 1st august 2022 after that every six months it this is start profile date so i'm just going to put today's date and date of the profile is start time it's uh, 0 1 to 2359 so time out minutes if i'm just putting triple nine so that it should never time out attempt nine so here if, uh, if user has any account with bank then you can mention otherwise it's not required company restriction all application one all pg version functional these are information is not required what i will do now i will validate the deal to check if is there any error seems everything is okay now i'm just going to commit this deal so this is our id for this record id so i'm just committing this now so you can see we must need to authorize the record so this is in inau status so i'm just going to log out again now i will try to authorize that record so I, I you already know how to authorize so i'm just putting record id and a so you can see here this record is open now and i'm just going to commit this so we have created our user now we'll try to log in this but uh, this is your user id not uh, sign on name so you need to see what's the sign on name so sign on name is this input seven so i will pick this and i'm going to sign off and i will type this input seven and first time default password is always one two three four five six and i'm just going to log in now so you got this screen now please repeat new password so this is giving you option to put your own password so and commit new user called inputter that been created now we have another question how you can set or how you can reset password of your colleague so sometimes colleague is not able to log in or he forget his password then how you can change the password so we have one application or called password dot reset here so it seems very simple you can easily remember this password dot reset i can give any record name id here so i'm just giving a b 001 so this is like event id here so i'm going to create this and user password here you can see here user that need to be reset we can do multiple password reset but as of now i'm just doing for one so i'm just going to take authorizer so it's basically say this id authorizer so we need to get this user id here authorizer so i'm just going to paste here 
in password you can give some default password so i'm just giving uh, q w e r t y i'm just validating the deal but i missed the internal here so, so it's been committed now so i need to log in it again to authorize this record this is our record id here that we have created for authorizer and i'm just going to commit this record so it's been done now we'll try to log in with new password sign on name was author and password was q w e r t y i'm now i'm login so you can see here it's asking us to put new password so you can see we were able to log in successfully with new password so i hope you understand how we can change the password how we can create new user id so i hope you understand this session thank you for joining me